All right, we are here at NVIDIA GTC and it's day three. I'm super excited to chat with Abhilash from Skypoint. Abhilash, welcome to The Robert Show. Yeah, welcome. To, uh, glad to be here. Yeah. It's so good to see you here. In, uh, uh, you know, we've been hearing so many exciting news and announcements at GTC here. Would you like to share something uh, about what you are excited about and also just a little introduction of yourself? Yeah, uh, so I'm Abhilash. I work on the data platform and the AI infrastructure nice. uh, yeah. with Skypoint. And uh, yeah, it's been, it was speculated to be an exciting GTC and it's been exciting after coming here. A lot of interesting talks and uh, a lot of announcements as well. And the one thing that I have been excited about is the Blackwell uh, yes, release definitely. on top of the Nemo uh, retrievers. True. So that is gonna, I mean, revolutionize and accelerate a lot of business use cases and commoditize the uh, industry itself yes. uh, and now data stacks uh, collaborating and releasing vectorize on top of new re new retrievers i mean that it's is going to accelerate yeah it's going to i mean uh, end to end solve a lot of the use cases that uh, all of the engineers uh, solving rag use cases are right. so Okay, that's very interesting point that you mentioned and definitely I'm super excited about Blackwell as well. When I was listening to the keynote as well, I was like, this is insane. This is something huge that's come out and uh, a lot of uh, folks in the air will be super excited. Uh, so as uh, Skypoint and data stacks are, uh, just to, uh, just to uh, get on that point itself, I wanted to ask you about, uh, you know, I know Skypoint uses data stacks to power its generative AI applications. So how will data stacks news with NVIDIA impact your Gen AI strategy? Do you have any thoughts around that? Yeah, yeah for sure. Uh, so we, we work on the value-based industry. Right. Like uh, there are a lot of customers on value-based industry. And when you are creating a conversational interface for uh, the end users, right. latency is key. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. SLA, you need to adhere to an SLA. And right now we are at around 15 seconds and we want to drop it down to five seconds. And now the exactly. collaboration with data stacks as well as Nemo, which would be the GPU infrastructure. So there are uh, the number of LLM calls and uh, vector DB calls. Both both of those layers need to be performant. And yeah. I feel that this collaboration would help a lot uh, okay. in achieving that. That's fantastic. Uh, in uh, That's coming from an architect. I love it. Because yeah. <laughs> uh, that's what you work in. in yeah. The, uh, I, I see the excitement everywhere with all the data architects out there as well. So I can hear you totally. Um, uh, in, in terms of, you know, when we talk about these types of solutions as well, there are a lot of challenges that come into the game too. So what are some of the biggest challenges when it comes to building Gen AI applications and uh, how, you know, partners like Data Stacks helps Skypoint to get to the next level as well. Okay, uh, yeah, so that's a very interesting question. So, uh, when you are creating a Gen AI application, right. I mean, uh, and most of the use cases are conversational uh, right now, right. and uh, latency becomes key. And all the latency is uh, surfaced from the number of uh, vector DB calls that you do. Exactly. Be because you, are do you, are, you add a lot of context into uh, while designing these conversational agents. So, yes. you add a lot of context which internally are LLM, uh, LLM and vector DB calls yeah. that you're trying to uh, converge the answer into. And uh, that's where uh, data stacks helps us. That's one point. And the other point is to build an enterprise grade application, you need a security along with this scale, right? Mm -hmm. That it needs to follow compliance, compliance. data security, True. governance, all of these layers need to be present. And Astra DB out of the box provides us with that. So, okay, fantastic. Yeah. That's good news. And uh, definitely, you know, you mentioning about data security, I think AI governance as well, that kind yeah. of plays a very important role into the game. I've been hearing this from a lot of enterprise leaders as well, because that's something which is where they kind of struggle. Yeah. Or that's something where they're kind of, you know, trying to overcome that type of challenge and then, you know, just make sure that they are in kind of a good space that, oh, we are all secured. Uh, yeah. We have the right governance in place, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, fantastic. So, uh, one one another quick question uh, around Skypoint itself. Uh, I know Skypoint was only working with LLMs and putting Gen AI into the game. Uh, uh, can you share any lessons learned, any best practices uh, that you would like to share with our audience? Okay, uh, yeah, if I think about it, there are two points that I would like to point yeah, out. Sure. Yeah, one is the uh, designing. At the end of the day, it's software, right? So True. 
uh, you need to be using a good modular architecture. And for early beginners, I would say to bootstrap, start with a good orchestrator like Langchain and Llama Index. Right. And later, I would say uh, split it into a multi-agent. That, that is kind of an architecture nice. I would propose. Nice. Uh, that would give you good modularity and good maintainability so that you can uh, basically tune every agent separately, solving mm. your overall business use case. Right. The second point is choosing a good vector DB. Like, uh, 100%. So as I said, right, there are thousands of uh, vector DB calls happening with low latency and you need that kind of SLA to yeah. be able to achieve conversational use case especially. Exactly. Uh, so in, for that, you need to choose a vector DB that is secure as well as can scale up to your uh, throughput. So, Very true. Very so true. that that those are the two things I would say. Choose the vector DB wisely and follow a good model modular architecture. Love it. Actually, I was talking to you know even Jerry Liu from Alama uh, Index yesterday, and okay. he had exactly similar kind of insights too. Okay. So which is where I can relate it back. Okay. It resonated pretty well with me. So thanks for sharing that. Uh, just a very quick question in terms of SkyPoint as well. What's the future? Where is it going? In uh, also around AI, where do you see it? Uh, so yeah, uh, from a SkyPoint perspective, uh, so we are a lot into uh, value-based care, right. and uh, right now we are more towards information retrieval, helping agents uh, ask questions around insurance documents, helping yeah. them onboard customers faster in exactly. seconds. So now we are extending it to integrating with all other data sources like CRMs, basically enrolling customers in yep. second. Basically an agent can converse, uh, enroll the customer as well as answer their queries. All yeah. the end-to-end -end use case yeah. in value base. That's yep. what uh, we are planning to solve for in our roadmap. Okay, fantastic. That's, that's something I think uh, you guys are very much prepared for, you know, how, uh, first of all, what are the challenges? How do you have to solve it, and what's next that's coming? So, which is pretty good. Uh, uh, thanks for you know sharing all these with us, Abhilash. I'm pretty sure the folks as well uh, would love to know how can they reach out to you. So, is LinkedIn a best place? Email or where can they reach out to learn more about it? Yeah. So, the best place to reach me is on LinkedIn. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, so you can search Skypoint Abhilash Sharma and. Uh, I, I believe there would be only one search result on that. <laughs> so you can reach There's out to no me. There's no more Abhilash <laughs> at SkyPoint. That's yeah. what we know. Okay, fantastic. This was great conversation. Abhilash, uh, thanks for doing this. And thanks for sharing all the great insights. Yeah. Uh, thanks to our audience for watching us today. And see you soon. Yeah. Thank